Hi guys, I'm Shahzad and uh, welcome on our YouTube channel. Today's we gonna discuss about the Visual Composer in WordPress. Make sure if you are working on WordPress or any kind of project by using the WordPress, you definitely knows about the page builder. A lot of page builder available in the WordPress. WP Bakery, Visual Composer. So how can you create the layout of your website by using the drag and drop? concepts what are the things available if you are talk about the visual composer how can you set up a particular page a lot of things we are going to cover in this video make sure this is the crash course so you guys can easily understand each and everything in a single video login with your wordpress okay make sure i have purchased a premium WordPress theme from the theme forest. So as you can see, we have a WordPress theme name Porto. Okay, so type Porto WordPress theme. Okay, so go to the Porto. So you can see. So as you can see, this is the premium uh, fifty nine dollar. I have purchased in fifty nine dollars. So this is the premium WordPress theme. So live preview, and they have uh, some layouts some built-in layouts as you can see the main feature shop demos so they have a lot of demos these demos are available uh, we are going to use don't worry we are going to use uh, from this one i think from this one we are going to use this demo this demo okay so just i'm telling you that we are going to use the photo okay so this is a theme setup this is the documentation and this is the license and this is the theme so copy this theme go to your xamp hd docs i am using the xamp so that's why uh, i am going i am going to use the hd docs if you are working on the xamp uh, you have your own folder which is uh, xamp and www directory so i am so this is the composer and wp content wp content and theme section i am pasting this theme here now i am extracting my theme here so this is the photo theme okay so what you need you just need to go to your theme section so here is your theme update check your updates i think the okay this is the plugin updates update your plugin i have just updated my plugin okay so what you need go to your appearance themes now activate this theme activate this is the photo welcome to the setup wizard so every theme has its own wizard first of all because uh, i already told you that every theme has its own plugins every theme has its own widget area and every theme has its own setup wizard so this is the setup wizard for the porto wordpress theme so what you need you just need to uh, let's go click on this purchase code i uh, of course i have purchased so this is the purchase code okay and now next step so as you can see it's saying php max maximum input was required 2000 so by default we have the 1000 so how can you increase the maximum input was so go to your xamp i have installed my xamp inside my c drive xamp as you do, uh, make sure go xamp and find i dot i and i file so this is the dot i and i file this is the dot i and i file so open this ini file okay go to your apache dot ini so this is your ini file no ini file must be in php dot r dot ini okay the ini file is available in the php folder so open this ini file and now find 
what you need you just need to find the maximum input wars so here you can see the maximum input wars so remove this semicolon and now set to 2000 save this file go to your XAMPP restart your XAMPP now start your XAMPP and now refresh the page now it's saying 2000 okay you have successfully selected so system required for this portal theme php memory limit is 256 php execution limit time 900 and maximum input wars to 2000 if you are not familiar with them just go to the xamp and php folder and find the dot ioni file and find these words and increase related with this okay continue so this is if you want to create the child theme so <laughs> create it if you are not familiar with child theme so don't worry about it skip this so they are saying these plugins are required and you, I, I want to install these plugins also because these are the re recommended plugins okay so hit the next button and wait for few minutes okay so now as you can see we have just downloaded all the plugins so now what you just need to select your shop which shop which demo you want to install so they have a lot of demos so as you can see uh, this is the demo one this is the demo one and this is the demo two this is the demo three and this is the demo four these are the categories shop classic business on one page and all so as you can see shop so now i am going to download this okay so what you need just need to import okay wait for few minutes so it can import all the pages all the post all the products related with this theme you can also view this theme from the demo side go to the portal portal wordpress team we are installing this demo so this is the demo live preview and this is the demo which we are going to install so this is a demo and this is the demo so demo hit this button so as you can see this is the demo which we are going to install or we are installing so demo so you have this demo so don't worry about it we are going to explain each and everything why uh, we are choosing the premium theme because you must familiar how to uh, add the premium theme how to work on the premium theme okay so now we have successfully imported all the content related with this demo so visit your site so as you can see without doing nothing we have successfully embedded all this premium theme so what you need you just need to uh, change these categories which is coming from the setup so go to your menu composer sorry local host and composer and go to your dashboard so as you can see you have your product WooCommerce and these are your categories so these are the categories you can uh, create your own categories here or you can just update these categories here so it's totally depend upon you so we have successfully embedded the premium theme first of all okay so this is the WP Bakery page builder so this is the home page and if you go to your theme settings reading so you can see you have your home page and this is the blog page so go to your pages all pages so we have imported all the pages from the portal demo okay so this is the home front page so you can add it with this quick edit or add it with 
wp bakery that means visual composer so hit this button so the visual composer is loading just a second so this is your visual composer front end layout so this is the front end why because as you can see this is the row and this is the column okay and this is the photo interactive banners click on this so as you can see you have your content shop now and this is your banner okay we will discuss each and everything don't worry about it and as you can see this is the porto future product porto is a wordpress theme first of all so that's why the porto if you want to add another element what you just need to add click on this plus sign so as you can see it's saying add element so add element a lot of elements available here uh, to add okay so this is the all elements you can this is the content elements row block separator and photo this is the themes elements so make sure each theme has its own element so this is the photo theme and these are the elements related with this theme if you have xyz theme so they have xyz elements so this is the woocommerce elements and this is the woocommerce widgets and these are the word wordpress widgets so it's totally depend upon you which element you want to select for suppose if you want to add a row here so just click on the row you have added a row and uh, if you want to add element for suppose uh, a single image just click on the image and just choose your image from your media library so for suppose i want to add this image select your image so you have some extra options media library external so it's totally depend upon you so these are the thumbnails okay if you uh, so don't worry about it uh, we will discuss each and everything in our later lectures for now okay so here is your image uh, you can delete this content by clicking this so you have you can also delete your row here so go to your dashboard first of all so this is your dashboard so as you can see this is the visual composer page builder okay you can also set your preferences or your settings here host okay so go to your page all pages so you have imported all the demos from the portal themes in the previous lecture so add the new page make sure visual composer is a page builder okay so as you can see this is the welcome to wp bakery page builder so i'm saying this is uh first first page okay so publish or hit the preview button but before publishing any page you have to preview the page okay so this is the classic editor okay if you want to work on the word wp bakery or whenever i say wp bakery or whenever i say visual composer these are the same things okay front end editor first of all so this is the this is your front end editor first of all okay so add your element or add a template it's totally depend upon you for suppose if you are adding a template so you have to choose a template so these templates available if you have any template save current layout as a template okay so you can access that library also so you have lot of templates available here you can choose any templates from the from here or you can create from the scratch for suppose if i am going to add this template just click on the template so you can see this is the template okay okay so add element create hit the row so this is your row okay make sure this is the front end layout you can also work from the front end and you can also work on the back end side so it totally depend upon you so this is the back end side click on the row so this is your row which row you want to add you go to or drum digital and i'm going to give you some basic knowledge of bootstrap so as you can see these are three things one two three first of all i'm going to first of all we are going to create 
these things so how can you create this just click on this and as you can see you have three columns three columns click on this so you have created three columns here and now what you need just you just need to create the icon and heading and your element or your text so click and find icon so you can see photo icons so this theme has its own icons font awesome font awesome basically is a plugin so you can uh, create the font you can create your uh, not your but you can use the font awesome fonts click on the font awesome choose your icon so these are the icons from the font awesome for suppose click on this icon or click on this icons okay your icon size you can place your icon size select your color for suppose in this time i'm saying this is a green color i need a, i need the green color so this is the icon okay so you have your icon and your simple icon for suppose and where you can add the icons for suppose i am saying center save view page so you can see you have your icon with the icon okay just a second i am saying this is 60 pixels preview okay wait for a few seconds so i can if i choose this one this is simple circle background preview view page source fa fa it's not showing <laughs> not worry select a text area this is a text area okay preview so as you can see this is the text area appears and why it's not showing the font okay because we have selected the background color red i'm saying background color black now the background color is black as you can see and i want to choose the font color is white so this is the font color is white just a second these are the photo icons i'm saying i'm selecting photo icons view page source okay the photo icons are working the font awesome is not working so don't worry about it so you uh, you have your icons first of all you have your heading so what you need just need to create the heading click on this and uh, type heading so so this is the custom heading or photo heading or separate with text i am saying photo heading so this is the photo heading select title for suppose photo heading i am saying which heading copy this content go to your page paste this here save view page okay so now you have your heading but you need the heading below the font icon so drag this item drop here view page so you have your icon heading and your text so you are creating these three same elements so how can you do that just click on the clone photo icons so click on the this to clone this clone means we are going to copy this uh, element so you have created copy this you have just copied and you also you can also copy this copy okay now copy this bad boy paste here copy this bad boy paste here and copy this as text and paste here now page review so as you can see you have just created three same icons so it's totally depend upon you how 
you are creating and what is the requirement first of all so these are three i columns as you can see these are these are also three columns and this is one single column this is one single column and this is the portfolio section if you are watching this uh, as you can see this is the one column second column third column so why i am saying column if you are familiar with bootstrap twitter bootstrap grid system then you definitely know about what are the columns if you are not familiar with twitter bootstrap or the grid system in the bootstrap so go to the bootstrap open this bootstrap is a front end framework first of all i am just giving you the knowledge okay so documentation so i am saying grid system so this is the grid system so they are saying that one column second column third column so you have 12 column in each devices so as you can see these are three columns four four and four so eight 12 columns so 12 column always available in each screen so i have 32 inches uh, lcd or led so that's why four 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 if you are creating the 12 columns so how can you create the 12 column inside a single row so you can create the one one column single column one 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 okay so as you can see they are saying rows okay so this is the row and these are the columns and as you can see they have the documentation they are saying con con you must place all the columns inside a particular row so as you can see row are wrappers for columns okay so now as you can see you have your 12 columns so one single column and uh, you have your one column one column and one column if you are working on just a second for suppose if you want to create the 12 column you can also create one 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 column from the here for suppose you can choose the row first of all and now if you want to create the five columns you can create click on this so one two three four five so don't worry about the bootstrap you just need to create the columns from the here if you want to create the two columns just create the two columns if you want to create the one single column just create the one single column if you want to create the four column just create the four column so it's totally depend upon you which column you are going to create so for suppose you have your background color so how can you create the background color hit this button added the row so in the design options you have your background color options or suppose select this background save preview changes so now as you can see you have just selected the background color so it's totally depend upon you and your requirement but you have just update the page first of all you have just added the elements from the backend section okay so what happens if you want to create these same layouts from the front end section so go to the front end layout i am always i always use the front end layout okay so as you can see you have your three columns first of all so how can you do that just click on the this edit row button so this is the design option change your background color for suppose i'm choosing red select close so as you can see this is the beauty of front end layout so you don't need to uh, click on the page preview again and again so row change your background color or you can also set your background image for suppose okay we will discuss about the background image for now okay so if you want to create the same row the clone of this so just click on the this icon so this is the clone so you have just created the row or the three columns as you can see it's very easy to create for suppose you can separate 
so click on this and this is the separator click on this so save so this is this is a separator just take this separator and drop this separator not here because it's a row just click drop here okay so now update so you can see you have just separated so the separator is available the empty space is, is available a lot of elements available here but you can uh, it's totally depend upon you either you are using front end layout and either you are or you are using back end layout or back end editor so first of all as you can see we have created two elements in our previous lecture but now we are going to create or we are going to create another row so select the row first of all so here is your row you have just selected but before selecting what is separator so as you can see separator create a horizontal row or hr for you so again you create the separator just click on this so this is a separator click on the separator okay so you can see center left right these are the options alignment available here so you can select the colors i am selecting the uh, vista blue okay so as you can see i have just selected the vista view okay you can also select any color you want to add for suppose purple so purple is here because it's a single line so that's why it, it's not easy to identify the color okay so width you can also select the 10 pixel so as you can see you have 10 pixel width now and a lot of options available if you are working on the separators as you can see elements css animations you can add the animations click on this and click this okay so animations animate your element so i'm saying i'm not using element you can also add the extra element id or extra class if you are customizing this so in the design options you can also add the background okay you can also add the border and uh, you can also add the border radius so it's totally depend upon you but for now so this is the portion option normal small or gradient so a lot of options uh, available if you are working on separator just for now i have added the separator and what about the heading click on the this yellow column that means it's saying append the append to the column that means i am going to add something in the in this column because if you are adding edit this column so as you can see the design or uh, the responsive options you have one single column so if you are choosing first of all uh, we are using a single column so the this is a single column first of all the length is 12 column okay and this is the column inside a single row the column width is 4 or in simple words the column is 4 so this is the 4 and this is the 4 so 4 plus 4 plus 4 this is the 12 columns so these are the 12 columns inside a single row so you always insert 12 column inside a single row either it's 4 4 4 12 or 2 2 2 2 2 okay so it's totally depend upon you or you are you, you are creating the one column so one column for 12 time 1 1 1 1 1 till the 12 12th column so it's totally dependent upon so this is the single column click on this i am saying this is the heading so heading you have your power to heading custom heading and separator with text click on the custom heading so as you can see this is the custom heading select the type text source this is the custom text or post it's totally depend upon you i'm saying custom text okay so h1 or h2 or h5 till h6 or P or D, div, sorry, depend. I'm saying H1. This is H1. Alignment, I'm saying center. You can set the alignment. You can also set the font size or your line height. And you can also set the text color. For suppose, I'm saying red. So, okay, it's red. So, as you can see, right, the alignment is center. You can also set the font family. And you can also set the font style. And you can also set the animations. And you have a 
element and the oh, sorry id and class name also you can also add so in this way you can create the heading and uh, how can you add the map for suppose for sorry a single image so as you can see you have a single image options or elements so you have a single image you have a single image and uh, if you are this is the media library or external link or feature image so select your image source i am saying that i am going to fetch this image from the media library if i am saying external link so you have to provide the link if you are saying the feature image so you have to provide this feature image i am saying i am going to fetch this image from the media library so i have to select the live uh, image from the media library in this time i am saying this image okay so this is the image i have just sl selected so in the in this image size so this is a thumbnail size so this is the thumbnail size and the alignment of uh, the image you can also add the center left or right it totally depend upon you the image size is default you can also select any style it should really depend upon you okay on click action you can also add the actions for suppose zoom open so you can add the click option you can add the animations id and class and you can also add the id and class separate if you are customizing this for suppose i am saying this is a thumbnail click so as you can see this is a thumbnail so that's why it's, it's showing you just i think uh, 200 by 200 just click uh, added this single image settings just copy the medium paste here medium save close so as you can see this is the medium or click on the large so this is the large save close this is a large if you are saying that uh, full so this is the full width of the image so it's already defined upon you in this way you can uh, add the single image so if you want to add the element whenever you want to add the element you have to click on the this yellow icon because this yellow icon related with this column okay if you want to add something inside this column then you have to click on this for suppose you are adding the text so you can see you have just added the text here so you must confirm which element you want to add in which column so i am adding the elements inside this column so click on this now this is a single image if you want to add the text just find the text so as you can see this is a text block separator with text custom heading photo fancy tag so these are the text available here you can also click on this click on this click on this click on this so each element has its own nature each element has its own functionality so i am not going to define each and everything here but i am just giving you general concepts so you can also click on this so elements you can add anything here you can add those animations external styling and id and you can add add the bold and whatever you want to add just click on this click on this so as you can see it, it's showing by default from the left side just click on the center so it's showing from the center side so this is the text area design options you can add the background color for suppose if you want to select the background color this so as you can see this is the background color so each element has its own functionality and has its own nature so it's totally depend upon you okay so remove this add a new text for suppose in this time i'm going to add this text with separator so i'm saying title add your text here for suppose okay alignment center position center okay color is gray border one pixel you can add one two three and four pixels also an element width so as you can see we have just added the element with separator so in this way you can create the element so if i'm going to add the map so what you need just need to add the photo map section photo google map i'm saying this map section so width height select your width height and uh, select your map style and select your latitude 
and longitude okay so this is the longitude and uh, map zoom top margin default width okay you have added the map so you can find the latitude in my current position in google map so this is the current position but suppose i am saying latitude and longitude i am saying karachi so this is the longitude and it's saying latitude so this is the latitude add your latitude here and where is the longitude add your longitude here okay select update now what you need just need to click on the back end sections the map is not view, view preview so as you can see you have your three items as you can see you have your map here so you have added your heading single image and your heading with map i am uh, sometime i use front end and sometime i use back end so don't worry about it the concepts are the same so these are the elements which we have created in this a single column i want to add another text so text so this is the text this is the wordpress tag text type something here so as you can see this is a wordpress text watch preview so this is the wordpress text i am adding something in this column click the add button so in the content side you have we have discussed about the row text block separator and separator with text so this is the faqs so we are going to discuss in this lecture the faqs image gallery crawl and the button okay so click on the faqs section so as you can see you have your faqs your toggle title and uh, you have some content and by default it's open or closed you can choose i'm saying by default it's open and now i'm saying i'm not defining the animation here you can add your content here you can add your title here for suppose i'm saying title 1 so select close as you can see you have your this faq sections here so basically if you want to add another just clone it so this is the clone and added this faq section for suppose you are saying to and i'm saying by default it's closed okay so now as you can see by default it's closed and it's both are working fine so you can create like this just click on this button go to the content and now you have your image gallery so what is the image gallery you can add the for suppose full slider width the type of the image you can choose the type of the image i'm saying this time slider if you you can also choose the fixed slider you can also choose the new slider you can also choose the image creator so it depend upon you i'm selecting the first one options okay you can add the title also i'm saying the rotated in 3 okay you can also select the 5 10 and 15 or disables i'm saying i'm selecting the images from the image media library if you have a external link just provide the links here okay so go to your link i'm selecting these three these i am selecting these 1 2 3 images okay these three images select i have just i have just selected so if you want to delete just click on the x button so you can also remove okay so you can also use the large medium full and thumbnail size it's totally depend upon you we have already discussed about this one click if you want to uh, add the callback function or whatever you want to add the on click open pretty photo url link to large image open customer i am saying open pretty photo okay i am not going to add the animations just click on this and close so now as you can see we have just added 
the three images so this is the image gallery as you can see this is the image gallery you can also go to update okay go to the backend sections to view the page and now click on the preview button so now as you can see you have your elements and you have your gallery section so I have selected the options which options just I'm going to show you this is a gallery image this option oh sorry this options where is the option this options you can click on the link to the large image okay now refresh the page now click on the image so as you can see it's it's showing the large image so it's really depend upon you now what you just need to click on the this link content and you have an image carousel so you have an image carousel so as you can see this is the these these are the same thing so click on the this plus button i'm going to add these three items add i have added three choose your thumbnail for suppose i am saying medium so this is me sorry medium this is medium uh, select click options and uh, select slider option horizontal horizontal or vertical okay the slider size is 500 not size speed click on the preview section so as you can see you have your slide as you can see it's it's a it's an image carousel so this is the carousel this is the gallery so there is a major difference between slider and galleries okay so now i want i'm going to add another element so we have already discussed about these so you can add the custom heading we have already discussed if you need the button just click on the button write on the write something for your button for suppose i am saying click me click me so as you can see this is the text okay button size which button you want to need style choose your style i'm saying modern you can also use the classic flat or whatever you want to add and shape rounded square or round i'm saying rounded okay color of the image for suppose i'm saying green okay the size of the image for suppose i'm saying large alignment i'm saying center okay so set full width button you can also select this or you can also add your icon here it should really depend upon you id and classes you can also add the id and classes so preview so as you can see you have your button icon button okay so what you need just need to if you want to add the advance on click section click on this and on click code you can add the code here so you can in this way you can create the button okay so now just click on the plus button go to the content and click on the flicker widget so this is the flicker widget you can add the flicker widget here or the progress bar click on the progress bar so you have three progress bar for suppose open this you have a development 90 percent default and this is the for example designing 80 percent and this is the marketing 70 percent and just click uh, if you have some units percentage pixel you can add the percentage pixel you can add the color here you can choose the color here options they have some options id and class name just preview the page so as you can see you have your development design and marketing for suppose if you want to customize this just click on this you can add any for suppose gray gray for suppose i'm saying green and i'm saying yellow and i'm saying some other color shino okay so now they are saying that add the percentage with the percentage percentage preview so as you can see you have added the percentage this is the development and these are the progress bar so you can add the progress bar by selecting this element make sure we are working on the element once you familiar with the elements then you will 
work on the you will create or you can create your html smoothly so pie chart you can add the pie chart so title add your title for suppose i am doing this this is the level value the level value for suppose i am saying 20 or leave it the unit you can also use the unit click yes view preview so this is the pie chart so this is the pie chart so you can customize your pie chart what we did so you can see as you can see this is the what we did 50 percent so if you are saying that this is the 90 percent and you can add the value percentage for suppose percentage and uh, save review so as you can see okay this is the 90 percent so you can add the pie chart click on the plus button add the new element so you have empty space so click on the empty space for suppose if you want to add some space between these two elements so you need to add the empty space for suppose i'm saying 50 pixels 50 pixels that means i am from the top and the bottom i am choosing 50 pixels so this element drag and drop here so i want to add some space between these two elements so preview so as you can see now it's so we have added the separator here for suppose uh, you can increase the space for suppose i'm saying 500 save preview so this is the 500 empty space from the top and the bottom okay so this way you can add the empty space i'm saying this is the 50 percent empty 50 pixel okay you can also add the percentage okay click on the plus button and select another this is a revolution slider because you have revolution slider here you can if you are working on the revolution slider just click on the revolution slider and select your slider so you don't have a slider so that's why it's showing nothing content revolution slider 5 okay create your revolution slider if you have if you want to create but i'm not going to create this one so in this way you can create the content for now what you need just need to open in the front end editor we are working on the back end editor if you want to add or suppose i am using the separator okay now i am going to add the social so if you want to add the social like button click on this if you want to add the twitter button click on this if you want to add the google plus button recommended on google click on this if you want to add the pinterest click on this i'm saying like button so you can select the like button button type horizontal horizontal with count vertical with count i'm saying horizontal with count add the animations click review or preview it's totally depend upon you this is the preview so you have your facebook button okay so now i am open this page in the front end editor click on this so this is the front end editor now go to the bottom click on the plus button or you can add a i am saying that i want to add the row so this is the row this is the separate row i am going to add the uh, separator first of all so you can easily understand okay now i am saying that uh, i'm going to add the like button from the social section i'm saying count also so you have like button as you can see now i want to add another button just click on the social twitter button just set your twitter button follow hashtag mention so it depend upon you choose your button and uh, your enter your twitter username and your recommendation so your hashtag use large button if you want to large button just click on this optom out of tailoring twitter <laughs> okay i have never used these options okay the language you can select your language whatever you want to select just save so you have your twitter button just click on the social icon google plus standard button small medium large or tall select your button uh anime annotations bubble and line none totally depend upon you 
click on this so as you can see here social icon button so in this way you can create your social icons or if you are working on the social buttons so in the next lecture we are going to cover some other things like raw html a raw js but okay i'm going to tell you just click on the raw html and define your html for suppose this is the html elements and uh, you can also add the class and id it's totally depend upon you you can also add the h1 h2 h3 whatever you want to add related with the html in simple words if you want to add the html code so just select the raw html element and add html content here so click on this so here you can see this is the raw html if you want to add the raw js just click on the js enter your js here so you can add your js here so as you can see <laughs> for suppose uh, i'm saying alert so this is the alert section so as you can see it's already saying alert so you can add your custom js or js if you want to add js from a particular section add here so click okay as you can see it's saying okay add bootstrap it's a front end framework if you are not familiar with bootstrap it's fine i'm just telling you if you are familiar with bootstrap uh, so it's also fine so documentations you have a uh, grid systems i'm saying grid layout now as you can see it's saying grid systems so now as you can see you have the row and in the row you have your column in the column you have your content now the content is string you also have the images or audio video or something like that so the rule is you have to define your columns in the row and you have to define your content or you have to add your content in the column so this is the rule now i'm going to create a new page so you can easily understand i'm saying uh grid so publish this page make sure the url is the composer now click on the front end editor because we have two type of editor the front end and also the back end you can also use the back end editor it's totally depend upon it. Uh, i always use the front end editor because uh, uh, if you use the back end editor you always uh, check the settings like uh, we will discuss about this but for now i'm going to use the front end layout okay now click on the element so click on this row we have selected a row make sure every row always have uh, 12 column so every row has always 12 column you have to define the 12 column either the 12 column if you are dividing your 12 columns into two parts that means you have to define the six six columns how uh, like this i'm saying you have a row one row in the row you have two columns six and six so six plus six equals to 12. okay that means you you always you you always use the 12 columns now click on the edit row as you can see currently it you have few options row stretch column gap full height and disable the row now i am saying design i am just selecting the background so you have the background settings here you can also use the border and also use the border style now i'm going to set the background so this is a background click on this now you can also use the cover container no repeat and repeat so now as you can see the image is now repeating because image is too small and the column width is large so that's why it's repeating your image so if you are selecting the no repeat design no repeat click on the save changes so now as you can see it's showing you the full width of the image okay now i'm saying uh, i don't need to specify the repeat 
so I'm saying default fine so this is a full column now if you click on this one so as you can see it's saying change layout so in the row layout you have different kind of columns you have the one column so as you can see it's saying one by one you have two columns it's saying one by two columns you have one two columns it's uh, you, you have this kind of layout if you dividing your column into three so as you can see you have three columns four columns and this layout this layout this I need the two columns for now click on the update button and remove this one so now as you can see you have two columns now I'm going to add the content in the columns now uh, I'm going to use a single image now I'm going to use the text here text block okay fine I'm also going to use the two text blocks here three text blocks okay now so drag text block from here to here so now you have your columns now if you click on the row edit row you have row stretch if you are saying stretch the row just click on this save so now as you can see you are now stretching the row you have stretched the row but the content at the same place if you click on this one and uh, once again if you are saying stretch the row and also the content so definitely it will stretch your content and also the row so now click on the this stretch row and content with no padding so now click on this one save okay so now you can see you are using the stretch row and the content with no padding so it's totally depend upon you how you are working okay now click on the if you click on this one row both are the same things because you you are saying that you have a single row with two columns so this row and this row so these are the same things okay but if you click on this one so editing this column and also editing this column is a different thing okay now click on this one edit row now click on this one i'm saying just use the default setting fine this image is the background image make sure this is the background image you can also use the background color click on this one remove this one you can also specify the background color let's suppose i'm saying this is the background color click click and i'm saying okay it's a border sorry it's a border it's not a background uh, color so this is the background color if i'm saying that i'm going to use this background color so definitely it will add the background color okay now it was my mistake okay you have different kind of option options so if you save this one and go to the backend editor open this page at the backend so as you can see you have two columns and as you know this is the single row you don't have the two row here so this is a single row with two columns so click on this now so you have the same settings okay fine now if you click on this one you can define your columns here so generally you can define your parallax settings you can uh, assign the class and id to your columns if you are altering or if you are customizing your columns and if you click on this one you have the same option click on the design so you can see you have the same options so this is your column make sure this is your column settings click on the design you have the same options you can set your borders background colors and also the image you have the responsive make sure now you, you are using six column here and you are using six column here so that means six and six twelve so you are using the twelve columns here now if you click on this one and you are saying oh no I'm going to use the four click on this click so now as you can see you have your four column and you have your six columns four and six equals to ten still you have 
the one column space here so you have to define one column space here so click on this I'm saying like this so I have the columns like this click on this so go to the editor I'm just showing you so now you have two columns one is large second one is small because you are using the four column here and each column here so you can also select the options from here if you use the two columns like this so you have to now okay now you changes so now you have the similar rows and columns so in this way you can define your rows and column when you click on the home page so now as you can see they have two columns here four column eight columns and they have this is the four column and this is the eight column in the eight column they are using different content so now as you can see go to the front end side i'm just telling you here if you remove these things now you have your plus button click on this you have now click on the row now you are defining the in the sixth column you are defining the row here you can also use the here but if you are saying that you need two columns in the here so now as you can see you have two columns so you have one row in this row you have six column and you have six column fine and now in the sixth column you have one row with two columns six by six column and definitely if you create the row here that means you have to define the column like two column six six column so you have six six column you can also define the other type of layout and you can also okay now fine now I'm saying this is the row and if you click on the this button that means you are copying the row so this is the first row this is the second row so don't mix this so for now it's fine so this is the row and the column combinations you always use the row and column to create the layout in the WordPress or by using the visual composer definitely you have this content you have header and you have footer just click on the visual composer edit this page with visual composer okay now you have few things you always added the content available here not the footer not the header including this section how can you edit this sections and also this sections make sure the header is totally depend upon the team which team you are using and also the footer footer always available in the uh, appearance widgets you always have the footer so as you can see footer one footer two footer three footer four so you have four footers here one two so i don't know which which footer is now it's using as you can see it's saying contact information so this is the contact information this is the first footer and click on the second footer it's saying it's a block of code or some block this is the widget and uh, definitely the widget is available here block as you can see this is the portfolio block or the portal block because the theme is the portal i think okay now click on the widget it's a empty widget and it's also the empty widgets that means you have the settings in the themes and where is the settings oh okay this is the proto and i'm saying theme options so here you have different kind of go to the footer 
So now here you have to define the footer section. Footer section. So footer type. Now, so you can edit this one here and this thing here. Fine. So this is the copyright sections. You can view or read the entire page. So you have a footer and the footer type. So as you can see, this is the footer type. You can also use this type, this type, and you also have the columns here. So as you can see, you are saying three and nine column. So your footer consists of three and nine column. It's a 12 column. So now if I say that uh, I only need the four, four by four, and the four by four. Click on the save button. So now go to the page, refresh the page. Definitely, as you can see, you have the four sections. And now go to the widget sections and you have the widget one. Definitely you have the empty and empty photo three and photo four. Now click, uh, I'm saying drag your client from here and drop here. I'm saying third footer, okay save i'm saying same calendar i'm saying fourth footer save definitely now you have third footer and the fourth footer here so it's totally depend upon your theme and the theme settings sometimes theme settings available here sometimes you don't need to customize the footer area you always have the four sections so it's totally depend upon you now you have you can change the layout here or oh, now how can you change this one this header so definitely in the header sections you always had the header type so as you can see a lot of header types here the by default header type is this one now how can you change the logo just click on the customize section so site identity you have changed the title and something like that you can also change the fave icon available here now and here where is the oh, WooCommerce menus widgets homepage settings? So the header sections is not available here. So what you need just need to click on the social links because your social links available maybe here. Okay, if I click on the this one, so you can see it's currently off. Click on the mini card, so you can see the mini card is here now. Choose your style, search form. You can select your search form, sticky header, mobile panel. So these are the settings available for the header, header sections. So for the menu, so you have different kind of options. So, so, so it's hard to define each and everything uh, from the scratch. Okay, now how can you change this layout? Okay, now just click on the backend editor or edit your page as a backend so now if you click on the preview now you are previewing your page you are watching your page so you can see how can you edit this content so now go to the bottom you have the few settings make sure this settings it's depend upon the themes this theme has a lot of customization settings available here okay now if you click on the breadcrumb, so this is your breadcrumb. You can click on the breadcrumb, check this, and preview this one. So now, as you can see, it's hiding you the breadcrumb. So if you if you think uh, that uh, you only need to hide the breadcrumb on this page, so just need just need to click on the breadcrumb. Make sure here as a theme setting. So go to the backend sections definitely you have a theme setting it's a photo theme settings this is the journal theme setting so here breadcrumb so this is the journal theme setting available on every page and every post okay you are just hiding the breadcrumb on a specific page which is the about us page now how can you change this one just as you can see it's saying block banner block so this is a banner block it's it's about us banner 
they are saying you can create a block in blocks add new so as you can see this is the blocks click on the blocks find the about us banner so this is the about us banner click on the edit with visual composer okay make sure this is the other thing and this is the other thing okay now click on the heading i'm saying edit it you can also click on the row edit so you have the image here so as you can see this is the image and you can also click on the button you can also customize the button here and other things okay now save this one and now go to the page preview the page so now as you can see it's saying added it so it's totally depend upon the theme that uh, how can you customize a particular content mostly this this settings available on the same page here but they have provide you the separate section so that's why okay now how can you change these this one so go to the theme setting okay so this is the theme setting header so as you can see it's saying call now so this is the call now and also it's also have the button welcome to photo so where is the welcome oh here is the welcome to photo i'm saying welcome to sexy i'm saying double nine double zero save the page go to the page okay click on the about us button so now as you can see welcome to sexy so you can change the header footer from the theme options and always footer from the widget area you can change this settings from the backend section so now basically go to the website so this is the home page and why it's not showing you the home page here because it's a home page <laughs> so now go to the settings reading definitely you have set this page as a Okay, now as you can see, this is the home page, and uh, now how can you edit this home page? Go to the pages. You can also edit from the home page there, or you can click on the edit page page link. Mostly, some themes never show you the edit button here, so that's why. Now it's showing the current home page. Click on the home page. Now you are editing. Going to edit the home page now. What happens go to the front end editor visual composer front end editor so now definitely you have two type of sections here you have a lot of content and here you have a sidebar make sure this content is editable and this is not why now in this theme this sections available here definitely in the weird section so now as you can see it's saying home sidebar so this is the home and this is the sidebar you have a category you have a slider you have a newsletter and you also have a slider so you have the block text showing you the newsletter and it's also a block and this is also a block and the block name is the sidebar block you can also create the sidebar uh, if you can if you have if you can customize this one so you can customize from the block sections here okay now so fine i'm not going to customize this one if you want to customize this one so go to the block sections find this sidebar recent post and definitely you will customize this one we have customized uh, the content from the block sections in your previous lectures now as you can see you have slider so in this theme the built-in slider available here mostly themes use the uh, some type of slider like uh, revolution slider so if you are using the revolution slider definitely the provide you the shortcut but you just need to use the shortcut here or otherwise you have the 
functionality to add the slider here. We'll discuss about this, but for now, consider this one. So it's moving now. If you want to click this one or add it to this one, just click on the edit section. So this is the content, this is the image, and you have some few options. So as you can see, it's saying the extra class. So this is the extra class because they are using the extra class in the CSS sections. So it's totally different upon you. Okay, now click on this one. So as you can see, it's a shop now. So shop now button. So definitely you have shop now button without anchor. So you have to define your anchor here. Okay. Now slide this one click this one so you have a uh, this slider so as you can see it's an image just change the uh, image here or the link here and also change the content here fine now I'm saying I have uh, the page new page I'm going to show you that I'm going to open this page as a result composer so now as you can see you have banner so interactive banners or if you are creating or if you are designing like this what you need just need to click on the row you need three columns so definitely go to the row check these settings and now you don't you have the Porto interactive banner, so you have to use the Porto or direct use banner. So banner, so select your banner here. Fine. Okay, you have this banner because by default the height is very uh, high, so it's totally different upon your image. So copy, copy. Fine. You are ready to go. If you need to copy this one just click on the clone so clone this so you have clone remove fine and now as you can see it's a featured items so how can you as you can see it's a featured product so every theme has its own settings so as you can see a lot of functionality available here so you have to check each and every functionality depend upon your theme so it's a photo theme so that's why Okay, if you open this insurance heaven, it's a live website. Now, if I uh, edit this page, okay, now I'm going to open this in a front end view so you can easily understand. Now, front end view, the visual composer are also available here. So, now as you can see, it's, sh it's showing us the OT slider home, similar to this one. Now, if I add some content here, so now as you can see, it's showing me the piece element. So now this is the portal, and these are the elements, these are the website setting or the theme settings, and the name of the theme is the piece. That's why I have different kind of elements or the options or the functionality available here. So it's totally depend upon your uh, theme. So you have to check each and every single element and functionality. So now as you can see, I'm saying now currently it's showing the photo feature product. So now if I create a row and now I'm saying feature. So photo feature product. So define the settings. I need the four column so definitely you have a four column here you can also select the three column and you can also i'm saying 12 i'm saying 10 10 product per page save okay now as you can see it's fine now you have this slider trousel so just click on this one Or just open this one and check the functionality it's saying 4 and 12 
4, 12, fine, default, default, and as I show slider paginations, show slider pagination. So there is a show slider paginations. Sir, okay, it's a slider. Make sure you have a slider. So slider, click on this one now. Definitely, you have a slider, something like this. So this is slider, same slider. And if you click on the list, definitely it will show you as a list like this. And if you click on the grid, definitely it will show you as a grid. So now we are saying we need the slider. And you have the show slider paginations. So show slider paginations. Fine, fine. Now you have one content here. So write the content here. Here, feature products. So as you can see, it's a feature product here. Now you also have the feature product. You also have the product visit area. So you have three columns. As you can see, these are the three columns. New or say you can also create these three columns you also have this is the one row in the one row you have a heading and in this column you have three columns how can you create this one i'm creating a row and this is the heading photo heading whatever you are writing in the heading so this is the heading like this one okay now if you want to change the settings just check out the okay I'm saying line top fine so definitely you have a top heading you can also oh, now I'm saying I'm going to use the row here so this is the row and now I'm going to use the three column so this is the inner row, three row. You have one, two, three. Now definitely it's an info box. Just click on the icons. Make sure I'm just going to add the content in this column, not this column, because this is the 12 column. It's a single column. It's a design is 12. Very good. Okay. So this is the single column. Make sure. And we have three columns here. I'm just adding the columns the content in this column I'm saying box or the info box so this is the info box in the info box definitely you have title some content and button you have title content and link it's saying no link you can also select some other options and some other options also available you can also use the extra class click on this this so now as you can see it's showing you how can you show your content just click on this definitely they have the align so simple or if i'm saying the image so definitely you have to use the image if i'm saying square background design your on it's totally dependent upon you if you select the icon it's fine it's a font awesome icon they are providing four types of icons okay now where is the alignment just find the alignments because definitely they have the align so this is the design you have the same sections typography you can also uh, change the font size line size something like that. you can also use the animations here so it's really depend upon you and your need uh, in this way you can create these sections and a lot of sections you can also create so this is the overview of the home page and definitely you can create the home page from your own so as you can see this is the large home page if you want to create this like this home page similar to this one what you need just need to go to the page definitely they have the default template publish this one and go to the back end section as a default setting default setting and definitely uh, they have some some kind of settings here here 
So check out the settings, which settings the home page is using. You can also set the same settings here. So now go to the visit website. Click on the, we have two type of contact us pages. One this one and the second one is this. This is a contact us page and this is another page which is a contact us advanced. So these two pages available uh, on the home page sections also. You can also. Now I'm going to choose this one. If you click on the added with page builder, which is Visual Composer. Now, definitely you have two sections here. You have one row and the six column and the six column. Okay, fine. But click on this one. As you can see, it's saying contact us form. Now, the form is the contact us basic. Okay, now you cannot edit this form here. So, what you need, just need to go to the dashboard. I'm going to close all the tabs so you can easily understand. Now, go to the contact section, contact forms, find this form. Which is the contact us basic? So, contact us basic. Added this one now. This is the form and the layout of the form, like this. Fine, you have name, email, subject, message, and a submit button. So, this is the name, this is the email, this is the contact, and also this is the message. And this is the submit button. They are using the grid system here. We have discussed the grid system. So this is the row. This is the column. And these are the content. If you are not familiar with the classes of the bootstrap, so call LG. So just ignore this one. If you are familiar with the Twitter bootstrap, then definitely you know very well about this form okay now go to the contact section so this is the contact section just fill this form I'm saying if you click on this message it will definitely show you the error because these fields are required the static means required I'm saying subject is testing and the message is this one click on this so it's saying there was a error trying to send this email because you have to configure your email so click on the email now as you can see currently it's showing the empty so now here you have to use the email copy this one and this one i'm going to send the email to this person who is filling the form so that's why i'm using this one and now I'm saying no reply at insurancehaven.com. Subject is query. And now I'm saying message body hello, or I'm saying I'm closing with paragraph, or I'm simple writing from e commerce. Okay, now I'm saying thank you. Thank you for the contacting us or something your message goes here and for the last you are saying regards Kixi.com uh, or something like that I am saying use the HTML if you are using the HTML tags here you have to click on this one otherwise you don't need to click on this one now save this button now refresh the page fill your form with the email i'm saying testing send the email it's saying there was something wrong because you have to configure your domain like this okay now I, because this is not the domain if i'm saying localhost just click on this file 
slash send okay because it's not sending the email why you have not connected with your domain so that's why it's not sending you have to use the email here because whenever your customer receive your email then definitely uh, it's your, your duty to tell you that uh, which person sent this email okay like uh, if I go to the digital swat click on the contact and now I'm providing the necessary field click on the submit button so now as you can see it's saying thank you for contacting us go to the email and definitely you have received the email so now as you can see I have received two emails it's a query make sure I have submitted this form that's why it's saying hello a person check the because uh, this is the admin and this is the query I think thank you for contacting us our representative will contact you Canada Pakistan okay so in this way you can uh, configure your email for the contact us you also have two emails you are sending this email to the client who fill your form and you definitely send the other email to the admin okay now fine then definitely you have the other co content or the sections you have six column here and you have the text block you can change the text block here and definitely you have the heading here you can also change the heading here some text and this is the editing fine just click on the sections and change whatever you want to change it's really depend upon you save button now what about this map make sure this is the row and they have stretched the row and the content also that's why it's bigger than the size of the natural page okay now click on the photo google map so i'm saying it's a hundred percent hide this one because this is a hide 400 hide and the roadmap if you click on the satellite save it will show you the satellite view if you say if you click on the hybrid it will show you the hybrid if you click on the Taran. okay so it's totally depend upon the functionality of the theme so your latitude your longitude map zoom and also you have some other functionality you have this New York office because uh, you have the New York office you can edit this info window here you can also edit the marker you, you also have the few advanced settings styling and you have a general settings so go to the visual composer dashboard now definitely you have the appearance and also the menu sections click on the menus and now what happens if you go to the home page and hover over okay click on the borders page and now hover over the shop menu so now as you can see this is the large menu sometimes it's it's called the big menu okay now how can you create this type of menu when you as you can see this is the custom link this is the page and now on the page you are saying that you have the four columns definitely you have the four column one two three and four so four column you have four columns and you are saying wide you are saying pop-up position justify only okay you have pop-up maximum width only 800 so you have 800 maximum width now as you can see you have some other options background positions and you have background art or side okay now with this as you can see you don't have the link here 
so this is the category page click on this it's a, it's a checkbox and you are saying dot link it's a column one fine and then definitely you have this these links so now here as you can see these are the links these are the simple links so as you can see the navigation was full wood banner and now these are the categories it's a simple link custom link and these are the also categories okay what about this one feature product product layout and also a single image so this is the product pages and this is the product layout and at the end of the menus you have this image so now click on the test it's a custom link now as you can see you are saying it's a single column and the background image you are using the background so this is the background url of this page this this image that's it you can create the big menu or the large menu available in the theme because some themes use this menu mostly the e-commerce website mostly you have this type of navigation bar or the menus so this is the pages and definitely you have the pages you have the pages and you have simple links and you know very well you can also drag drop like this it's the setting you are already familiar with this one okay so in this way you can manage your menu or so you can create your big menu so before doing this i'm going to create a new page so you can work on that i'm saying it's a padding and margin now publish this page open as a front end editor so this is the front end editor you can also work by using the back end editor now you know very well that you have to define your row before adding any column so this is a one column now click on this one this one i need this layout that means six column six six column for a particular row so these are the two columns now i'm saying uh, i need to find the click on the design options just click on the background color i'm saying i'm going to use the red color so this is a red color now i need to define the text copy this text now fine so clone this one this element drag this element from the left column to the right column okay fine now you have two elements in both column left and right now if you click on this row row uh, that means uh, i'm editing the row now this click on the design options you have margin sections you have padding sections and you also have the border sections it's a top right left and bottom i'm going to use the 20 from the top sorry 50 from the top 50 50 50 50 that means i'm going to use the 50 50 top right bottom and left so this is a margin i'm going to use the margin click on this one and close this so as, as you can see i have just used the margin okay now the margin i'm using in the row click on this one now you don't need to use the pixel because visually composer automatically add the px for you okay now i'm saying now i need the padding just click on this one i'm saying 20 from the top right bottom left for the entire row so as you can see this is the entire row you are adding the padding in the entire row but you can also use the designs let's suppose now just click on the column so this is the left column just click on the edit column so design options you have same margin padding you can also define your paddings or margin for the separate columns let's suppose if you need the margin and the padding for the left column you, you just need to define that padding or margin here so i'm saying uh, 50 from the top right bottom and the left click on this one this one so you can see now you are using the 50 padding 
for the left column okay now here you can also use the padding margin for your element just click on the added element you have the design options and you also have the margin padding let's suppose you are you want to use the padding for this element which is a text element now design options i'm saying 20 20 uh, 20 and now 20 you don't need to use the px now so as you can see you have just used the padding for your element so it's totally dependent upon you i personally recommend that you have to define a particular class or the id and you have to call that class or id uh, by going or by adding just let me open this i'm saying composer now i'm going to remove all the padding margin we are using the padding margin here we are also going to remove the padding here okay fine what happens now just click on the customize section so you can easily uh, add the css coding here now just let's suppose you want to add the padding in the row just click on the row added the row now you have to define the class or id you can also define the id here you can also define the class i'm going to use the class i'm saying my class just copy this class save this element now i'm saying find this class and add the padding now 100 pixels that means i'm saying padding from the top right bottom and also the left publish this one so now if you open the page localhost and now i'm saying it's a composer i think it's a padding and margin page okay this is the same page now as you can see you have just used the padding by using the css customize this page click on this one so now as you can see if you use the 50 50 so now as you can see you are using the 50 if you use the 20 padding for your row you can also use the 20 padding for your row why we are defining the class or id in the element and you are calling the class or id here in the css sections because what happens uh, if you open this one in a mobile device let's suppose you have you use the padding so this is the inline styling you are using so this is a padding you are saying 50 50 50 50 you are using the 50 padding in the row so you are using the 50 save this one and now open okay now fine remove this one publish press the page now you are using the 50 padding right click spec element now as you can see you have the padding here okay this is the padding and you are using the padding here It's a padding top, padding right, padding bottom, padding left. Okay. So if you define the class and you call that class here, you can also use the padding like this. Padding 40 pixel, space 40 pixel, 40 pixel, and also the 40 pixel. It's only totally depend upon you. This theme is using the just a second this team adding your css key and pair value in the styling but mostly themes use the internal sorry inline styling for a particular row or for a particular column so that's why we uh, we have to define the class or id from the front end side and we have to call that class or id on the customized css sections let's suppose you have the home page so this is your home page 
so this is your home page okay now you want to add something here from this page uh, about us page okay let me open this you want to use this sections from about us page to home page so how can you do that just click on the edit page and go to the home page now go to the front end side and you can also use the edit now this is the front end of the about us section what you just need to remove all the content this 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 okay but go to the back end sections remove this one because you don't need to use this one just go to the preview section now remove these elements one 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 remove this one and also this one now oh, preview changes now definitely you have only a single element which is the why choose this now click on the classic options copy the entire code now this is your home page so this is your home page we are going to use this sections here to here so what you need you just need to go to the end of the content now enter the click on the enter button paste the code here now this is the back end section click on the preview changes now as you can see you are using the same content which you have copied from the about us sections and you are using the content here you can also click on the save buttons now just use this content at everywhere like uh, if you want to use this content from footer to header from here just take this content and paste this content here you can also use at anywhere without going okay now in this way you can reuse your code and uh, you can copy the code from any page to a particular page we have a lot of page builder available for the wordpress like uh, visual composer you know very well about it and you also have some other kind of page builder so elementor and also the live composer layers and king composer these are the page builders similar to the visual composer in the wordpress okay because if you buy any theme from the theme forest or any website and you are using that theme for your project you may have the visual composer you can normally uh, people always use the visual composer but some themes use the king composer as a page builder some themes using uh, this page builder and some themes using the live composer layers and something like that so all page builder has the same nature you can also drag and drop elements you can create the row and the columns and uh, the same things similar to the visual composer okay now just click on the about us sections and now edit this page as a visual composer front end now let's suppose you want to hide this content how can you do that just click on the row and click on the edit row go to the disable row just click on this one and save changes close so as you can see it's now showing you as a blur update now this is the about us page as you can see now it's showing us the why users page we have disabled this row so refresh the page so now as you can see it's not appearing here because you have disabled this row it's very nice let's suppose you want to disable this sections but you don't need to remove this element because uh, you work in the future so that's why so similarly you can also disable any row from any page so it's totally depend upon you now how can you use a raw html let's suppose you have a page and uh, this is the i'm going to create another page so it's a 
raw HTML page. Now publish this one and now go to the front end editor. Open this page as a front end editor. Click on this one and you want to select all the row from here. So this is a row. And now okay. So right click added HTML copy all the HTML content and click on this one okay you don't need to copy okay just click on this one row and uh, this is the row I am saying raw HTML add all the HTML content which you have, we have copied from the other page and now as you can see it's showing us the same thing so you can also edit anything here from here so it's totally dependent upon you and your need you can also use the raw js to define your js here so visual composer give you a lot of option or functionality to customize your theme to customize your project now click on this column because we have a single column for this row click on this one we are adding now the color click on the responsive option so now as you can see it's showing us different kind of options you can either use the columns from here let's suppose i'm saying i'm using the 12 column for this particular row now if i'm saying i'm using only the six column for this row click on this one click save close so as you can see now we are using the row here okay we are using the column as a six column so it's totally depend upon I'm saying I'm using the one column it's fine you can also use you can also uh, create or set up your columns from the row layout okay now just click on the added column now click on the responsive now as you can see you have your large screen you have your tablet and you also have your small devices so as you can see these are the devices so this is the responsiveness okay now i'm saying whenever someone access this page about a page from the small device i want to hide this our story sections so just click on the hide options because i uh, i want to hide these options in the small devices save close update now open your about us page This is the about us page. So as you can see, I have the large screen. It's working fine. But when I click on the small device, so this is the iPhone 6s, is a small device. Click on this one. So now as you can see, I have just hiding my content. So this is our story is not appearing here. It's totally depend upon you. Let's suppose this is the tablet. Just click on this one. So as you can see our story is now appearing here let's suppose you want to also hide this in the tablet so as you can see this is a tablet click on this one and also this one save this one now once again refresh your page because you have to refresh your page we have just changed the page so that's why click on the extension now as you can see this is a tablet version click on this one now as you can see it's now not showing your the sections because you have used the hide functionality for the responsiveness now remove this one it's now fine added your column again responsiveness okay now if you say that if someone access this about us page you want to convert your columns by using the media queries if you are not familiar with the media queries properly let's suppose this is the 12th column not let's suppose it's actually a 12th column and you are now saying if someone access this page on the small devices or by using the small devices just convert this 12th column from 12th into two okay now as you can see you by default the width is 12 now you are defining the width is 2 whenever someone access this 
by using a small device. So save, close and update. Now refresh the page. As you can see it's, it's now working fine. But what happens when someone access this by using a small device. So this is a small device. So now as you can see you are converting your column from 12 to two column. So as you can see this is the two column you are using. So it's totally depend upon you. So as you can see you have your happy clients area. You have two clients area here. If you click on the visual added with WP Bakery page builder or the visual composer. So now as you can see you have two columns available in the same row. If you click on the testimonial sections, so now this theme provide you the testimonials like this. So you have a photo and you have your text area and you have some other functionality. But if you open another website, I am for Pakistan. So this is a live website. Now it's also using the visual composer and they are also have they have the our client area okay both themes are using the visual composer now click on the page by using the visual composer let's so i'm this is another website okay now okay now go to the bottom you know very well that i have just used the hide of functionality here to hide this content so as you can see it's showing me the blur okay now it's also hide now this is the happy client sections now if you click on the testimonial section so now this team provide you the only options that means show stars i'm saying show also the borders so so it will show the borders okay now where you can add your testimonials so you cannot add your testimonials from here why because this testimonial section is available in the backend. Backend that means in the dashboard. So it's it's depend upon the themes. So as you can see, this is the testimonials. So testimonials available here in the backend or the admin panel. So as you can see if you click on the add new button, you have some settings or this click on the existing testimonials as you can see they have the featured image they have the name of the testimonials they have the author name testimonial informations positions and also some text about and you can also choose the stars now if you open another website which is a digital sort i'm just trying to say that every theme has its own nature or the functionality so now as you can see it's showing us our clients area in the slider now if you open this in the edit section or edit page now open this as a front-end editor Open this as a front end editor. So now go to the bottom sections. So this is your client area. This is client area. Just click on the clients. So now you have different settings here. So this is another theme. So I'm just trying to tell you that uh, every theme has its own nature and functionality. Here, how can you use uh, the image or uh, the logo? Just click on the add. So now as you can see by default, you have selected these logos. Now I'm saying I'm just going to use this one logo, US. Okay, this logo. What I need, I just need to click on this one add image i just added i have to drag and drop or oh, drag and drop to define the positions of this image now save changes so this is the usa logo and now as you can see i have just used another logo so it's totally depend upon your 
theme and the functionality of the themes it's not this straightforward that uh, i tell you that this is the testimonial section and you have to use like that let's suppose we have this page and i'm going to save this one back to editor it's a dummy page if i visit this page so as you can see we are using the sidebar and also some uh, text i'm removing this text updating now refresh the page it's showing us the left sidebar and nothing to the right sidebar add added this page as a front end editor which is a visual composer page builder now let's suppose you have a lot of posts so click on the post all posts you have several posts one two three four five six you have six posts so click on this one and now you want to you have the recent post by the wordpress and you also have the photo recent post so this is the option the theme is providing you you can also use the wordpress option so as you can see you are saying recent post number of posts you want to show the five disable post date you can also disable this one you can also add id and number i'm saying show the date also click on the save fine so as you can see it's showing us the recent post one two three four five you can also i'm saying 10 so it's showing us one two three four five six posts and you are saying 10 because six posts available not 10 so that's why it's showing us the six posts and now added this recent posts click on the display post date you can also display the date save changes so now as you can see it's showing you the dates now it's not showing you the images or something like that so this is the useful uh, functions or the functionality if you if you think uh, that you want to use the images remove this one plus and go to the photo definitely you have the post so you can see it's a post recent you can also find us the post here okay click on this one so depends on the functionality or the theme so as you can see this theme is providing you some functionality write your titles here you can also write it's a standard read more link or post meta read more buttons cite images and post status by default it's a standard okay it's a standard i'm saying show me the eight post categories show post images as you can see it's showing you the images post with images now you can also hide the images by uncheck this one so as you can see it's now showing you without the images i'm saying show me with the images post meta that means uh, with dates and also the year and also as you can see the length of the string is 20 if as you can see it's 20 if i'm saying show me the five five as you can see now it's showing me the five length okay now i'm saying 20 show me the items for if if you accessing this page on desktop by using your desktop show me the four and if you are accessing this one show me the three and for mobile two and this is the one row if you if you are saying show me the second it's only depend about i'm saying one row it's fine now click on the slide options change slide configurations you can also show the nav as you can see fine so it's now showing you the navigations bar and you can also set the top middle and the bottom so as you can see it's showing you on the top i'm saying bottom it's showing you definitely showing you in the bottom definitely you have the blog page if you are using any theme pro theme so as you can see this is the blog theme oh sorry it's a blog page if you click on the added page as you can see it's, it's showing you you are currently editing the page that shows your latest posts 
okay you can not customize this layout from here so as you can see you are showing all the post here now you have some options you have a page options as you can see you also have the view options you can also view this options now where you can change the setting so you have the portal and you have a theme options and in the theme options you have the definitely blog section so this is a post post or blog both are the same things so as you can see it's a blog and post archive so you can change you, you can select the layout they are giving you some settings you can select the length of the string this is the string how many characters you want to show let's suppose if you are saying just five save changes go to the blog fetch the page definitely showing you the five so one two three four and now five so it's totally depend upon you i'm saying 30 fine fresh so showing you the 30 now you have some date formats you can also select the date formats from here you also have the archive layout setting and the page layout setting we are talking about the blog and post archive if you click on the blog that means you are talking about this page and you can select the style page title and some other things from here you also have a single post single post means when you click on the specific post click on this open this post this is a specific post and this is the setting of the specific post you are saying just this is the setting use this one so as you can see it's showing you this is style if i'm saying please use this one and save the changes go to the page refresh the page so now as you can see it's showing you with this is style okay fine we have also some other functionality show the side show you can also disable this one show titles on off show social share links as you can see you can also share the links if you click on the no changes definitely you remove these sections so now you cannot share this one definitely you have to active this one okay now you have show comments as you can see it's showing you the comment you can also disable the comment from here you also have some other functionality you can all as you can see it's saying related post column so definitely it's showing you the related post column so you can also you are saying that for column show the four related posts you can also click on the one and post ordered it's a random post let's suppose if you have 100 posts then definitely you are selecting or you are going to select the four posts from the hundred but randomly okay then definitely you have a post trousers you can set the trousers here this is the trousers it's setting available here so it's totally depend upon your themes and the functionality of the theme you may have different functionality from this one so every theme has its own setting area let's suppose we are using the portal and definitely it's a portal theme they have the theme options so as you can see it's a theme and they have the theme options okay here you can generally use the setting sticky or something like that the seo setting here also you can also enable or disable your seo 404 settings here if you access the wrong url like this one so 404 page appears so this is the setting of the 404 if i'm saying 404 edited and save the changes go to the page fetch the page so as you can see definitely it will show me the 404 edited page and put block slug okay now fine you don't need to write this one by default it's the same setting okay now you have a member settings you can set your members here you have the woocommerce setting you can also change the woocommerce setting from here you have a bb and buddy press it's a sidebar of the bb and the buddy press if you are not familiar with bb and buddy press just google 
okay you can also share the social share you can also setting the social share here slides configurations available here and also the import export functionality here you can also speed you can also change uh, set the optimize speed optimizations you can set the fonts here and in the journal you have the settings so this team is providing these kind of settings heading header scan menu breadcrumbs footer now if you open another theme which is the digital sort so wordpress theme and also if you open i am for pakistan both are the wordpress theme so go to the dashboard so now go to the dashboard definitely they have the theme area so find the theme options so as you can see it's a theme revolutions import themes so this is the theme options and now they may have theme options some themes is not provide you the options of the themes okay so this is the theme so as you can see this theme is providing a lot of functionality and this theme is now providing a few functionality like you can change the style you can change the color of the theme you can change the font settings here this is the special page settings the background image and some other settings this is the footer section footer setting that you are using this footer layout means four columns and this is the short code settings so this theme is providing the few customization settings but the photo theme is providing a lot of customizations functionality so it's depend on your theme which theme you are using and which functionality your theme is providing you so i hope guys you are enjoying our videos and also the content if you think we are doing good thumbs up feel free to share our courses with your friends and also on social networks and please support us by clicking the subscribe button and pressing the bell icon so thank you for watching